I'll be showing you how to perform a moods median test exact using Sigma Excel. The moods median test is an extension of the one sample sign test using chi-square as the test statistic. Like the kruskal wallace test, moods median tests can be used to test the equality of medians from multiple samples. It provides a non-parametric alternative to the one-way analysis of variance. The null hypothesis is all medians are equal, and the alternative hypothesis is at least two medians are different. The moods median test is more robust to outliers than the kruskal wallace test, but is less powerful in the absence of outliers. You should first look at your data with box plots. If there are extreme outliers, then moods median should be used rather than kruskal wallace you can do this by clicking Sigma Excel, Help, Sample Data, and we're going to open up the Customer Data Set. We're going to click on Statistical Tools, Non-Parametric Test Exact, and Moods Median Test Exact. If your data set is not already pre-selected, you can select Use Entire Data Table. Make sure the Stack Column Format is selected. Numeric Data Variable is Overall Satisfaction and Group category is customer type. The values equal to overall median will be counted as below, and the exact time limit for exact computation will be equal to 60 seconds. Quick tip, if the exact computation time limit is exceeded, a dialog will prompt you to use Monte Carlo or to increase the computation time. When this occurs, Monte Carlo is recommended. We're gonna click OK. So we can check cell B17 to view the exact p-value with more decimal place precision. Given the p-value of 0 0.00124, we reject the null hypothesis and conclude that at least one pairwise set of medians are not equal. The exact p-value was computed in seconds, but if the data set was larger, the required computation time could become excessive and Monte Carlo would be required. So now we're going to recall the last dialog. You can press F3 or click on Recall Sigma Excel Dialog. We're going to select Monte Carlo Exact with the number of replications being equal to 1 million or 1 E6 and the confidence level for p-value being equal to 99%. 1 million replications are used because the expected p-value is small as estimated from the large sample moods median. Quick tip, the Monte Carlo 99% confidence for p-value is not the same as the confidence interval on the test statistic due to data sampling error. The 99% Monte Carlo p-value confidence interval is due to the uncertainty in Monte Carlo sampling, and it becomes smaller as the number of replications increases. The exact p-value will lie within the stated Monte Carlo confidence interval 99% of the time. I'm going to click OK for the results. You can click on cell B17 to view the Monte Carlo p-value with more decimal place precision. The Monte Carlo p-value here is 0.00127 with a 99% confidence interval of 0.00118 to 0.00135. This will be slightly different every time it is run. The true exact p-value is equal to 0.00124 and lies within this confidence interval. So we reject the null hypothesis. At least one pairwise set of medians are not equal. So now we'll consider a small sample problem. We're going to open up the Sigma Excel directory again. And we're going to open up the SNOR study data set. An experiment was conducted to determine which device is the most effective in stopping snoring, or at least in reducing it. 15 men who are habitual snorers were divided randomly into three groups to test the devices. Each man's sleep was monitored for one night by a machine that measures the amount of snoring on a 100 point scale while using this device. So we're going to select statistical tools, non-parametric test exact, and moods median test exact. going to ensure the unstacked column format is selected and we're going to select all three devices. You can hold shift and go from device A to device C and click on numeric data variable. The values equal to overall median will be counted as below and exact time limit for exact computation will be equal to 60 seconds.
you can click OK for the results with the exact p-value being equal to 0 0.0676. We fail to reject the null hypothesis and cannot conclude that there is a significant difference in median SNOR study scores. We will now rerun the analysis using the counted as above option. So we can just press F3 to recall the last Sigma XL dialog. And we're going to select counted as above. And we're going to click OK for our results with the exact p-value being equal to 0 0.3007. We fail to reject the null hypothesis and cannot conclude that there is a significant difference in median SNOR study scores. Note that setting values equal to overall median to counted as above resulted in a different count for device C, which results in a dramatic difference in exact p-value. In conclusion, when using Mood's median exact, always try counted as below and counted as above to ensure that the p-values agree with each other. This concludes our Moods Median Test Exact example. If you'd like to view more videos or tutorials, please visit sigmaxl.com or the SigmaXL YouTube page. Thank you for watching.